If you ever wanted a, uh, 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 you know what? Let's do this like this. I was going to present this video as a catch-all solution to a big problem that's been going on as of late, but let's do it like this. This video will serve with the purpose of, if anybody ever asks you what a stochastic terrorist looks like, I'm about to show you an example. It's irrefutable, it's indisputable, and there's no way you're going to get away from this argument. But for the sake of it, let's say you think I'm wrong. Tell me about it in the comments below. Here we have Fox News once again respecting the preferred pronouns of a person they correctly identify as male. This is the most powerful conservative media outlet cooperating with and promoting radical far-left gender ideology. They've been doing this for years, of course. Fox can make a powerful statement simply by using correct grammar and accurate language in their news articles. The absolute bare minimum, but it's too much for them. Let's break it down step by step. Because you're going to hear his phrases a lot in the future, sadly. And I'm going to be here to take them all down. Here we have Fox News once again respecting the preferred pronouns of a person they correctly identify as male. Ladies and gentlemen, that is called journalism. Step further, why would that be an issue when what you actually hate about that person with what you what you hate about that person is not their presentation but their actions because they're getting popular it is yet again about dylan milvaney the word respect why would that be a bad thing what does it matter in the article according to him they identify Dylan correctly. So if it's a simple pronoun issue, why do you care so much? Because step further, hey, remember the party of don't trust your eyes and ears and all the George Orwell shit you keep hearing about? That's their playbook. Challenge the media. Anything that supports anything that's not our ideology needs to be burned to the ground. That don't sound Nazi-ish to you? That don't sound a little fascist to you? Step two. This is the most powerful, quote-unquote, conservative media outlet. Are you rallying against Fox News? Do you want something more right-leaning? A little further right? Maybe... A Far right? You may not take his statements to a value necessary, but he still has a platform where he's allowed to speak. So here we are now at a point where these are all red flags because everything has a purpose or else he wouldn't keep trying it. Cooperating with and promoting radical far left gender ideology. A simple pronoun change is radical far left gender ideology. I want you to hear the word. They wrote an extra letter with far right, far left gender ideology. An extra letter is radical far right gender idea. A, a radical far right idea is an extra letter to address someone by. A he goes to her, you add a letter. A her goes to he, you take away a letter. That's gender ideology. That's what they're pushing on to your kids, is what he's saying to you. The idea that if somebody tells you they're a girl but doesn't look like a girl, you are not to trust them. That's it. Fear of the other, because anyone can fit that description. By the words he has just said, you are supposed to feel as though far leftism is coming for you, which is just another commie scare. Except this time, they have a vulnerable punching bag. They have a vulnerable population that is now starting to go forward, and they said, boom, these are the ones that we're going to take out. Fox can make a powerful statement simply by using correct grammar and accurate language. But they did that. You said they did that. 
if you said they did what you wanted them to, what are you complaining about? So it can't be just this one issue. It's hatred towards Dylan Mulvaney. It's riding a wave of transphobia. What is that wave going to crash upon? A beach? A city? Is it going to be a tsunami? What is his point? So if this one piece isn't enough, this one piece is not enough to extrapolate, okay, let's put some pieces together. He keeps talking about this. The mutilation of children. Pushing the agenda. Nobody will know what a woman is. They can't define it. If anybody looks different than you, kill them is what it ends up with. Matt Walsh is a stochastic terrorist. 